Good morning. So for today, we're going to assemble a four-wheel drive na car kit. So we have here the the parts of our 4WD. We have the motors, four motors some wires to connect with the DC motors we have a battery pack of four slot double A's we have the T-stand 8 pieces we have the spacers we have the encoders four pieces we have the M3 bolts uh, 30 mm and we have the M3 bolt 8 mm we also have the nuts for our M3 bolts also we have four wheels that uh, will be attached to our DC motors and we have the chassis acrylic chassis two pieces so first of all uh, to start with we will going to solder these wires into these DC motors before we mount them into our chassis okay let's get with the solder First, we're gonna split the wires into twos since we have uh, eight pieces of wires included in our kit. So, for soldering tips, you can search for our YouTube channel. So that you can uh, see some tips and suggestion on how to solder the easy way. So what we're going to do is we will solder the red wire at the left side and the black wire into the right side of the DC motor we're gonna put some lead first on the terminals of our DC motor so that we can easily attach the wires after so after putting on some lead, we're going to attach these wires to our DC motors. So we're going to attach the red wire at the left side of the DC motors. So once we finish soldering these parts, we will mount the DC motors into our chassis. So as you can see, uh, the chassis of the four-wheel drive car kit has a protective film. Uh, attach so if you decide to to if you want a clear a clear finish of your acrylic of your car kit 
you can pull off the protective coating but for this video we'll, we will not be doing that so uh, let's start with the mounting of our DC motors so to mount the DC motors we will need uh, one chassis then we will use the T-stand so that so that we can attach the DC motor into this chassis so what you're going to do is just if you see these slats four slats uh, you have to insert one T stand to this to the slot and then you can now place the DC motor here beside the T stand and get another T stand and put it right here so that you can place the DC motor uh, between the two T stand so by using the longer M3, M3 bolts you can now insert this into your T stand right into the DC motor and passing through the other T stand so as you can see here we inserted the bolt uh, from the 1T stand through the motor and out into the another T stand so to, to secure the bolt we have to use the nut to secure the bolt so once we attach the nut uh, we will attach uh, another M3 screw or bolt into the DC motor and then put another bolt so we will be using a Phillips screwdriver to to easily fasten our M3 bolt into the nut okay and the other one so as you can see we have used two bolts M3 bolt and nuts and two T stand to support the DC motor so we will be doing uh, this to the other DC motors so that we can mount all the DC motors into this chassis so, okay I'm just going to uh, place the DC motor with the wirings towards the car chassis inward so if we if I mount this this way then I will mount the other two DC motors this way and the another one this way so that the all the wires are are toward the middle part of our chassis so Let's fix the DC motors into our chassis.
So once we fasten the screw, we can now put in our encoder to the DC motors. So we will go into attach these encoders in the inner part of our DC motors. So we're going to do is just uh, push this into the DC motor and and fit. So now for the other three. You can see here there is a notch so that we can easily put these encoders into the DC motors. So. So once we're done with the encoders, we can now uh, mount the upper part of the of the four-wheel drive chassis. So we're gonna get the the another acrylic chassis and then put it this way. So by using some spacers we're going to mount the upper part of our chassis so as you can see here we have these holes uh, one two three four five six so we will going to put the spacers into these holes and then put on an m3 bolt m3 so m3 means the bolt is has a 3 mm di diameter so let's put this aside so what we are doing is like this we are putting on the spacers into these holes and then bolt it in in our another chassis so that we can have another layer of our chassis so for now we're going to put the spacers so that we can assemble the whole part So after putting on the spacers we have here now the spacers standing up so after this we're going to put the another chassis the other chassis into this platform so before that we're going to to insert the wire into the another platform so that we can uh, wire it up more cleanly after we assemble the kit So now all we have to do is to put some screws into the 
uh, spacers we put on earlier. Once we put put on the bolt, so you can see now the the car chassis is already uh, assembled. So for finishing touches, we're going to insert the wheels and and see the you see the notch here and it fits right through the through the dc motors so let's put on some tires so it doesn't matter if you put the tires uh, before you uh, connect the two platforms so whatever your comfortable so it's the same so let me put this tire as well so we have now the assembled 4WD car kit so for the next for the next video we're going to make this uh, bluetooth controlled car so please stay tuned to our channel uh, please like and subscribe for more updates and tutorials and some prototyping tips for our uh, STEM student and electronics hobbies. So that's it for now. Bye bye.